Hey there, it's Melissa from Polka Dot Chair and I'm excited to be with you today at Riley Blake Designs Virtual Quilt Market. If you are seeing this on my YouTube channel and wondering what in the world it is, it is a part of a, a virtual market that is designed for quilt shops and other retailers to see what's coming in the next year so that you guys can decide what you'd like to carry in your stores. So I want to introduce you if you haven't already been introduced to Sparkler. It is my basic with Riley Blake Designs. Currently it comes in a variety of bright, fun, crisp, rainbowy colors. And the special thing about Sparkler is that it, every print features a bit of gold sparkle. So I don't know if you can kind of see with the light. And it gives the fabric just that extra little bit of texture that you need to give you give some like variety and interest to the projects that you sew with it. I have had so much fun in 2022 sewing a sparkler. It came out earlier this year. Um, I actually, you guys loved it too because you bought it all. <laughs> so I'm very excited that sparkler is in stock and ready for you to create projects with it. Um, one of my favorite projects that I made in 2022 with it was our um, block of the month and it is they are all fun little sampler blocks kind of um, inspired by granny quilt squares and I'll drop a few more pictures in so you can see it but it featured a lot of the blue and green sparkler fabrics um, I've also created several bags with the fabric and then I have been through it an entire bolt of the white sparkler it is my very favorite new thing to use for quilt backgrounds because it's just like a little bit of extra something. Like you don't want something to clash with your blocks or be too busy. So to me, it is like a really good low volume print. Um, and so I've been through a whole bolt of that and I need to order some more for myself. So Sparkler currently comes in I think 30 colors. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's 30. And I went to Riley Blake earlier this year and I said, you know what? I love these colors, they're really bright and fun and colorful, but I think we need some more colors that are more neutrals to balance it out that would be great to use as background fabrics for quilts. Um, I've been quilting and designing patterns for since like 2012, I think, um, so 10 years, and I love quilts with bright white backgrounds, but sometimes I just feel like I need a change, I need to do something different. And so it's hard to find a fabric that you can use for the background of a quilt that doesn't compete too much with your blocks and a color that's not too overwhelming or that will clash with the other colors in your quilt. So that's kind of my idea behind these new 10 new colors of sparkler fabric. So I want to introduce you to some of the new colors. I have stitched up some little sawtooth star six inch blocks to kind of show you them. So first of all, now I hope I get all these right. If I get them wrong, I'm very sorry, but I went through this a whole bunch of times and tried to make sure that I had all the colors correct. So the first one is Beach, which is a really nice neutral taupe. We've got Lodgepole, which is similar to kind of a jade, but it's a lot more grayed out and it doesn't have as much green and blue saturation. So it's a really nice kind of will blend with other fabric colors. We have got Pina Colada. Pina Colada is a cream, but is a pinky cream. So there's just the tiniest bit of pink in it um, that will kind of give you like a nice warm glow. And just to kind of show you in contrast, the other color, the other pink we have is um, Ballerina. And Ballerina is honestly my favorite pink that Riley Blake has. I think that it's really nice. It's not overly saturated. It's got kind of a really nice, um, kind of a light, creamy gray undertone without being too yellow or too peach. So there is Ballerina. Charcoal, this one is charcoal. And charcoal I think is the one I'm the most excited about because I love lately to make quilts with dark backgrounds and sometimes black is a little bit too much. Um, I use navy for this block of the month and I think charcoal is just that right in between to give you enough contrast and pop, especially when you're working with bright colors, but not be so heavy as a black. Then we have avocado which is really nice olive green. It's got a lot more yellow in it than some of the other greens. We have Marsala, which is like a pinky warm red. This actually is really close to the color that a lot of the big paint companies picked for their color of the year this year. Then 
iron, which is like one shade lighter than charcoal and darker than the gray that's in here already. When I, when I picked the colors, I tried to think in terms of trios of color with light, medium, and dark because that gives you a lot of options and possibilities when you sew. When you can combine those light, medium, dark, and the undertones are all the same, you get a really nice kind of ombre effect. And then the last one is Pebble, which is a little bit darker brown, um, not like a true brown, but this is a good brown, especially if you're sewing something that has natural elements in it. It's not quite as yellow as like a brown brown. Um, so it's a really pretty neutral and it looks absolutely beautiful when you pair it with Marsala Ballerina and avocado. In addition to the new sparkler colors coming in 2023, I also have lots of fun content coming to socials and to my blog. We've got Sparkler Week coming up in late winter, sometime in January, February, I'll let you know for sure. And part of that week, I will have a free quilt pattern that uses all of the sparkler colors that I think you guys are gonna love. I've also got lots of blog and YouTube tutorials planned that use the fabric. I have really enjoyed sewing with Sparkler this year. I look forward to sewing with it even more in 2023, and I hope that you do too.